Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. That's also the name of my Facebook page. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put out a new video. And special thanks this week to Angie, to Cynthia in the Carolinas, and to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. I had a great time. That said, here's our project for today. Now this summer hat was inspired by the Kentucky Derby in part, but also because I saw one in a magazine selling for $55 and I said, we can do that ourselves. So here's how this looked when I first got it. And you can purchase these pretty cheaply, these straw hats, or you may even have one sitting around. I bought this one brand new. I wore it once on a boat and you can see it had a ribbon around it. I just removed the ribbon and here's what we'll do in order to get this started. Now I strongly suggest that you use a bristle brush because when you're working with a woven pattern and I'm using chalk paint and it's the color Oatmeal by Folk Art. You want to use the bristle brush and you have to apply some pressure here to get inside all of these grooves. And I did not paint the inside, I just went around the whole outside and painted the whole surface. I'm going to put my hat aside to dry and I'm going to cut my napkins. You don't want to separate the napkins until after you're done cutting them. So right now I'm using the large scissors just to cut out a portion of the napkins and I'm using my decoupage scissors to cut into these smaller areas. You do not have to go exactly around the pattern. You just want to roughly get in there. It is pretty difficult to cut napkins. And for larger pieces, you can use the larger scissors. These decoupage scissors, uh, the small ones here, are available on my website. The link is below in the description of this video. And I wanted to show you a little trick too. First of all, you want to place the napkins down and cut out the patterns that will fit onto your hat in certain places. So just cut a bunch of those out. And for the top here, I laid the napkin down and I put some water on a paintbrush and roughly tore around those edges. Now I'll go in slow motion right here. I held the napkin with my left hand and I'm moving the napkin up and down, up and down and trying to keep my right hand straight so that I gave it more of a natural edge. Then you just want to continue to cut out all of your napkins and you can overlap, let me show you what I mean, on the edge here. What I did was I just let this overlap the edge of the hat and I cut out the tops of the flowers. And this way we can just file away the excess later. And now we can begin to decoupage. Once you're happy with all of your flowers, everything that's cut out, you can then separate your napkins. These are only two ply. And we'll be using saran wrap for this. So you'll want to take a few sheets of saran wrap out and place the decoupage glue down on your hat and again I'm using a bristle brush because first of all this would tear up a sponge brush but we also want to be able to get into all of those grooves with that glue and once you have the glue down you'll take your napkin piece the decoupage glue that is you'll take your napkin piece place it right over the glue put the saran wrap down and press that napkin into those grooves. So just press everything down using the saran wrap. Only use the saran wrap one time, then throw it away. Once you're done decoupaging your whole hat and it's dry, you want to take your nail file and just file in one direction, go around the edges and remove any excess. And now we're going to cover the whole surface with one coat of decoupage glue. So you want to cover the areas where there are no napkins and the areas where there are napkins. Cover the whole surface and put that aside to dry. And once that's dry, we're going to take a top coat and I'm using a matte varnish. You want to use a brand new brush. 
and you can use a high gloss or matte or satin and cover the whole surface one time. Now this part is going to zoom by and I will put a link below to a separate video that tells you how to easily make these four loop bows. And the reason I'm not slowing this down or telling you how to do it is because the last time I did this in a video, all of the questions came to me about the bow and not the important work of decoupage. <laughs> so what I want to do is just put this bow on the hat and we'll get back to the decoupage aspect of this. And the link below will take you right to a very good video on YouTube for this. I'm going to use E6000 glue. This is transparent and it holds forever. You may want to use fabric glue. You can see that I'm wearing gloves here because this E6000 sticks to your skin, it sticks to your manicure and ruins the manicure. So I wanted to wear some gloves and I'm going to put a band all around the top of the hat here. And then I'm going to add my ribbon and I'm going to put this aside to dry. It takes about maybe about 15 minutes before I could work with it again. Now when I went shopping, I purchased this flower at the same time that I got the napkins and the ribbon so that it matched. And I'm going to, I tried to glue this flower down, that didn't work. So I took some thumbtacks because I'm not going to wear this and I took some earring backs and I pressed it all in that way. Now you may be good with a sewing needle, I am not. So <laughs> I just stuck with this because I'm not going to wear it. I stuck this in using earring backs and some thumbtacks and even a couple of earrings. And I put my gloves back on again because I'm using the E6000 to place these decoupaged butterflies on the surface of the hat, around the surface of the hat. You can use anything you'd like. You may have your own embellishments you'd like to place on here. There are buttons and keys, and you may have some little silk flowers around. You can look at, I have a video and I'll put the link below on how to make these yourself, if that's something you're interested in. And here's how our hat looks when we're all done. Thank you so much, you guys, for subscribing. Thank you for all of your comments. I love to help you out when I can. Please leave any questions that you may have below. Don't forget Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week on Facebook when I put a new video out. And in the meantime, have a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend. I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.